Hey guys, I'm Tim. I'm Bob. I'm Spencer. Mike. And this is the Board Game Rundown. Today, we're going to do a preview of Cartini from Darkness uh, to Light. This is by Ion Game Design. It plays one to six players. It says an hour to two hours, depending on, I'm assuming that's just depending on player count, right? Sure, yeah. Uh, with four players and learning. It took us like two hours. Yeah. Um, and also, real quick, it does have a solo, a cooperative, and a competitive mode. Oh, yeah. We played competitive. Cool. We did. We yep. played the competitive yep. mode. And uh, you learned it on competitive mode also. I did. At two players, right? Correct. And then we played a four-player game. Yep. Uh, so, uh, Cartini, this is really an incredibly unique theme and something that I just... You know, there's just things you have blind spots to, right? You, For sure. You have no idea. Yep. And uh, so this game uh, takes place in like the uh, early 1900s in Indonesia. Mm -hmm. And it is about women that are actually like being forbidden to learn. Right. Yeah. And so, so now they are, they are able to like open up schools and, and, it, and, uh, and learn and they be, they fill these different roles in society. Like at least as far as this game is concerned, right? You're going to be, uh, teaching women to be either politicians, fighters, or patrons mm -hmm. and do it. Or in, teachers. Yeah, or teachers, or right? Teachers. Lots of teachers. Lots of teachers. And uh, and by and then there's unique hero cards. There's uh, girls that are going to show up at each school uh, that will give you different right depending on what options. island they're from. Yep. Yes, mm -hmm. and so all these different islands are represented. And I'm not going to try to pronounce yeah, most of the names because I don't want to just butcher it, make a fool of myself. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, this was a, a theme that was totally new to me. Came out of nowhere right mm -hmm. uh it's actually based on you spencer you said it was based on the book uh no a, a a woman, person. her, her no, name yeah. is cartini and she and wrote a book called from, from darkness. darkness to light yeah so it's based on a book i, I suppose <laughs> she also that's how that she works also wrote a lot of letters and yeah. those letters are quoted all over this game mm -hmm. on nearly every card on yes. all of the um these little like bonus end game goal end game thingies, scoring yep. they all have her uh Writings mm -hmm. on them, mm -hmm. and then there are these hero cards, and they all have bios. like the the yeah bios because these were real women uh, that that did things that, that did things, mm -hmm. and it's it's really sad like because didn't uh, Cartini she died at, you did you say Super at, young. at the age of twenty five oh yeah. my god and she accomplished oh my god twenty five I hadn't done anything <laughs> yeah. oh, I mean no doubt. I have one here uh, she uh, joined the army at seventeen was captured sold into slavery and died uh, refusing to eat. Wow. Gosh. Wow. Yeah. So this game really highlights those trials and tribulations mm -hmm. that yeah. these women went through, um, which is really interesting. Totally unique yeah. theme. I've, uh, I have not played anything like it. Um, mm -hmm. And also this game does a lot of interesting things. So on your turn, the actions are, they're pretty straightforward. You, right. You're going to take one action and then the next person's going to go. Uh, most of the actions are pretty straightforward unless you're going to do a graduation, which which the game kind of revolves around yeah. graduating the students and right. it's more in depth. Right. So so to you you're going to have a, your player board and you've got those three slots. You have got politicians, fighters and patrons. Uh, so one of your actions you can hire a teacher. Um, you there's a generic pile of teachers and you just pay either an endowment or mm -hmm. you pay a, 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 coin. a coin and you can hire that teacher and you have that teacher for the whole round. And and you you're going to you hire one for the appropriate area. Mhm. Mm their specialty. Yeah. Right. Yep. Uh, you can recruit pupil, poop pupils. pupils. <laughs> uh, you can recruit them. And then that's if you have a school uh, on that section of the island, you can take them and then you add those yep. uh, meeples to your schoolyard. Correct. You can register a student. That is where uh, there's going to be markets for each, each area each island, where there's yeah. each island where there's schools. And you can basically you just take one of those students. That's if, available. Yep. That's available. And if. If and it's got the little money sign over it, you have to pay. But otherwise, you just take, you them, take them and you you just put them in that spot. Yep. Uh, they usually they yep. might have like two different areas. You could send one. Mm -hmm. uh, some of them have a question mark. You can assign it to Anywhere. any area. Mm -hmm. Uh, and assign them one of the pupils, and then you assign them. them one of the yeah, but it has pupils. To be appropriate that you have. pupil, which really catches you. Yes, at certain yeah, because yeah, because yeah. from where you uh, hi, uh, bring the pupil in from, and then where you graduate them can be different. Oh. Right, so it's you have to keep track yeah, of uh, keep track of those. Mm -hmm. uh, another thing you can do is gather books. So the the pupils will have these these requirements mm -hmm. for you to graduate them, 
And so you either need uh, a combination yep. of politician books, fighter books, or patron books. And sometimes you have to pay money or endowments or things like that, too. Yeah, they mm-hmm. can the have heroes, additional, yeah. costs. additional costs. Usually the more powerful ones will have an additional cost. Yeah, because mm-hmm. the heroes all have uh, different requirements than these. Mm-hmm. And the heroes can give you ongoing abilities or one-time ability, you know, mm-hmm. things like that. And something kind of cool, too, is there's only a certain number of books available. So people can buy those books up so they're not available. And then also, as you graduate, people want to and move this track, you're going to be losing some of those books. So there'll be fewer and fewer of them available. Mm-hmm. The game goes I on. feel like that almost thematically represents the limitation that yeah. the government at that time so, yeah. was right, here's, here's back eight books, make them against yeah. women yeah. at that time mm-hmm. uh, furthering their education. Yeah. Uh, then the other thing you can do is graduate. So that's that's where the, the really interesting part for me mm-hmm. with this game was. Because so then depending on the student that you're going to graduate, you almost have this uh, flow chart yeah. that they give us on these players. Do a good job with the flow chart. These are, yeah. these are prototype. Like everything we have is prototype stuff. But this flow chart, I mean, you, you, just, go down the, you just go down the first column. You pay the requirement. Yeah. You gain reputation. You're either going to then have this uh, student graduate and, and do something on the board, or you can flip them over and they're going to become a permanent teacher in that spot. Mm-hmm. And uh, so if they become a permanent teacher, then you never have to recruit higher one, hire another teacher uh, for that particular spot. And then that's going to give you a book. There's, there's other things that can give you, there might be events that can modify that as well. You know, maybe give you extra points, things like that. Um, If you're making patrons, there's a whole section of the board over here. And depending on your reputation levels, what what you can unlock and where, what you have access to, Mm -hmm. Uh, if you get a politician, that one was pretty neat because then you're going to take that, that character, you know, that student, and you're going to pop them on one of the cities, uh, or one of the Island boards. Right. And that is going to unlock another spot for another student. So it's going to give you more choices because there's also times like where it gets tight, right? Mm-hmm. So turn order matters. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, and then politicians are going to give you a, like a, a bonus token that's going to give you an extra like every time you Effect do this. Every time you do something. Yeah. Um, so really cool, really uh, really unique. Kind of like, almost like an engine building. And then also normally when you've got a school, it's like smack dab right in the middle of that territory of the island. And when you do a politician, you can slide one of your schools to the middle. So now you have access to two different regions. Right. Uh, like so, and I say the middle. There's a line in between each region, right? Mm-hmm. And but there's a little square that you could. It slide just indicates you can slide a school there, mm-hmm. and that's going to let you pull uh, students from from both sides, Correct. which is super useful. And you're if you don't do it, you're probably going to pay for it later on. Right. Uh, and then you've got the fighters, also super cool because what the fighters do is on the board near the islands, there are these tokens that yep. are going to have conflict tokens or something like that. Yeah, battle and, tokens. And they, token. you are going to. Basically, you sign one based on your reputation. Uh, that'll tell you which ones you have access to. Bless you. And as you, so you're gonna when you do it there. Like if I do this one, it's three. So I know I need three reputation at least to do ahead. this one. Then I flip it over. Uh, some of them, it's it's just a straight reward. Sometimes it's either or, uh, or unless you have a hero that lets you take both. Yep. Uh, but then you get that, and then you're gonna put a school. Uh, mm-hmm. Next to that region, and you're instantly going to also gain uh, the, the, students, the students that were there, and you're going to pop them in the yard. Now, what that does is that gives you another area where you can pull students from, gives you access to other islands, yep. and also really important because a lot of scoring is going to be ha- it having once you diversify. Yes, having students from other islands because it doesn't do any good if all of the uh, all of the students are just from one island, right? right? That, that only helps that one small area. Right. So the idea is to the spread out. Yeah. And uh, and so that you are rewarded in that way by getting diversifying and, and bringing as much as you can. Yeah, the, from, from the, all the end other game areas. scoring is there's so much in diversifying that you get so many more points from for that being across than from basically board. anything else. Right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yes. And then when you graduate a student, there is a, an event track here. They call it from the darkness to light track. And as you go up, it's just basically you just snaking depending on player count, you're going up and down. Uh, It can cause a new event to come out. It might cause everybody else to lose something. Yeah, resources. Uh, You know, Mm -hmm. it it can change. Uh, These battle tokens go, you know, you lose all the the weaker ones and the stronger ones and you get the stronger ones out, you know, so it makes it a little harder. Uh, Again, reflecting maybe the crackdown, right? Government crackdown, society cracking down and trying to uh, fight. It gives some pushback to what's happening, yeah. Yeah, so all of these things, like, feed into this theme, this really unique theme in a really interesting way. So for me, you know, a lot of times 
I don't always care about theme. Like I don't, a game doesn't have to have a good theme, but if it's trying to have a good theme, I want the theme to matter and I want it right. to not feel slapped on. Yes. Yep. Yeah. And this really does not feel like a pace it on theme no, at all. No, this, not at all. this is very much like this, the thematic, yep. like the theme comes through, like the struggle the is real. The thematic tie into the mechanics is very strong. Yes. Yep. I, I particularly like how you can educate your girl, graduate her and turn her into a teacher and have her teach the others. I just like, yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's also that's great. Cool. That's, that's cool. very cool. Mm -hmm. And, and yeah, and, and strategically, it's very important. Yeah, you know, right. because it saves because, you money later on. Because and... while the theme is important and everything, this is like an engine builder, a tableau builder, right? Yeah. So, that... so that is part of the economy of the game, right? right. Is making because they let you get a book back, so it helps feed your next action. Yeah. Yes. You pay and money the more to teach girls that graduate, you start losing the general teachers. So you right. start they As start that... becoming a precious commodity. Right. Yes. Right. Yep. Yes. Um, and that's, that's really it. You play through yeah. when you pass, you get a token that's, that, yeah. and, uh, and you're going to pick a spot on this track here and that's going to determine where you're going to be in the next, next round. Player so order. the later, the later, uh, you choose to go in player order, the better the reward you're going to get. But obviously that's later, like in, the round, later yeah, yeah. in the round, which is tough sometimes because these cards get picked up. Yep, the the books, free ones get taken. The, the books get the picked books up. Get Maybe somebody out. graduates a student before you. They take a spot on right. the board. You know, I mean, there's all kinds of things that play into this. So so there's a real Make fine balance yeah. between, you know, Important. when you want to go. And then if you pass early, basically every other turn, you're going to get a coin. Right. Um, because a lot of games, they have those things like, you know, okay, yeah, I'm done with my turn, but Tim's managed to use his resources more, like, productively, so he's able to uh, extend his turn for a long time, and you're just kind of sitting there waiting. This game does something super interesting where you get those um, yeah. those tokens, and so every, you know, every turn that comes by, and it should be your turn, you're going to be flipping it. And every time it flips back to the handshake, you're gaining a coin. So it does kind of, like... Pen, not to say penalize them for taking a bunch of extra turns, but it's just helping you oh, not far. Even but there was a round behind. where Spencer was taking a bunch of extra turns, and we're like, "Yeah, keep going, yeah, keep bud. going." And then the keep very going. next round, he was out I early. had to pass really early because I had no money. Because he didn't yeah. have nearly enough yep. money. And so. so that last round, Tim and Spencer passed, and they're just watching <laughs> these <laughs> mobs just go, go on and go and yeah. go. <laughs> but I mean, for the most part, this game, like the turns, are pretty quick. Right. Uh, the graduation. graduation and even then, once you get the hang of the graduation, yep, sure, it goes it really quick. fast. Right. Uh, so I think if everybody is sort of paying attention and, and thinking about their turns, mm -hmm. there's not a there ton be a of, of downtime. No, there really shouldn't be. Not a, lot. a ton mm -hmm. of downtime, which quick is always a, a, right. a bonus in a Euro tableau build. You know what I mean? Because sometimes games, not this one, but games like this can sometimes come to a grinding halt if right. there's like one thing and it just, everything has to stop because there was times where you were graduating somebody, you were going down and basically everything you would do, were doing was not going to affect board state. Right. Oh, so I'm it's like a teacher. That's not going to affect you. you yeah. Go ahead and kind of I'm going to just buy my book and, and, and let mine moving. go. Right. And like, then I get done with mine. Like, Oh, it's my turn again. Yeah. All right. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. yeah. And I like that in games sure. where you can just kind of keep it moving. You mm -hmm. have a reasonable amount of time, you know, to, right. to decide what you want to do because this is thinky this is heavy and there were however some points where you know you're taking a book as part of your action and that could actually affect things quite a bit yes so right you really got to be careful with that mm -hmm. yep yep and i also appreciated that there was just it's it it was easy to learn for me like yeah. um these are the basic actions and go from there you know and i think everybody after taking two or three turns had a pretty decent idea of like how everything worked. The iconography is really strong. Right. And again, we're just playing with prototype components. Um, I, I will say, so I, I did play this online uh, with one of the, um, the developers. guys, one of the developers. Yeah. Yes. Um, and while these pieces prototype, right. And they all look the same in the game. And he did assure me that they're going to be different shapes. So like, cause I had a hard time like de de deciphering some of these colors from each other and whatnot. Um, but in the newer map, they did take the names off of the islands and put it next to it, so they're easier to see and read. They don't get buried. So they're not covered up. So they're not with covered the, up. And then also all, the all of the, the pieces and students are all different shapes. So you can just look at the card and see the shape and be able to tell which one belongs to which. Because I was constantly having a hard time between Spencer's and Tim's things. But in the final version, they did say that they will be different shapes to help with the color blind. And then, you know, and that's the thing with prototype that, yeah, you know, I'm and, not holding it against. And them. if you're not, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. No. And that's the thing though, right? That's why you go through development and right. design. You play with other people and you're like, Oh, oh yeah, we hadn't even considered that. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. And so you work and you work through it yeah. and uh, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. That's great. Uh, okay. So this is just a preview. Yeah. So instead of like final thoughts or ratings or anything, we're just going to go around and talk about some of our favorite things about, uh, about Cartini sure. that we experienced. Uh, Spencer, why don't you go first? Well, 
I really do like the historical aspect of it and how they have the little bios. And if you're really interested in that sort of thing, this is a very educational game as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I like that. Um, it's going to take me a few tries to really get the strategy down. Um, if you run out of resources, you can you can be in trouble. But having the coin coming, one coin makes a big difference. In yeah, this one game. coin yeah. here, one it's coin really there nice. can really add up. And I mean, if it wasn't for that, I, I probably would have ended with like 15 points. Mm-hmm. Sure. Um, so yeah, that's something I like. Um, I, I've always liked the track that when the track it changes depending on how many players, uh, it's, it's just such a natural way to do that. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. So what do you got, Bob? Uh, so a couple things. I'm a big fan of the the turn order and the way that's done. So when you pass, you get to choose which of those um, rewards that you want. That will change the player order next turn because, mm-hmm. like, say you're stocked up, you don't need a bunch of stuff. You can make sure you go first and only take like a single book. Or man, I really need some resources. So I might have to go last next turn, but I'm gonna try to build myself up so I can have some more money and more books, you know, to do things next turn. I think that's super neat. Uh, I do enjoy how the um, the darkness to light track does like bring out new events all the time or mm-hmm. it will change the board, change what resources are available. You got to kind of pay attention because if somebody, I, I saw that somebody was about to graduate and the next thing up was, oh, lose a book. I'm mm-hmm. not going to buy that book this turn. Right. I'm going to mm-hmm. do something yeah, else. Yeah, you do have to pay and attention. I'm, yep. So pay attention to what's going on on there. I, I really enjoyed that. Um, and uh, what was the other thing I was going to, oh yeah. And the other thing was the, um, uh, the passing thing with the um, the handshake, the gaining the coins and not just being out. Because there's like a lot of games like, uh, not to throw other games out there, but like, like uh, Terra Mystica, right? Or not Terra Mystica, Terraforming Mars, where you could be done and somebody else could just keep having stuff left. And, and, you're, just, and you're just kind of like waiting yeah, for them. And they're like taking anything. tons of actions and building up more and more and more. And you're gaining nothing. At least there's like that, you know, compensation, almost like a catch-up mechanic built well, in. And it's also like, a, hey, you could take all the actions you want, but I mean, yeah. I'm, get, I'm over here getting rich. That's you're what I'm saying. There's, there's still something turn. in it yeah. for me. Yeah, yeah. So like, I, I did. Uh, I really do appreciate that. Um, uh, it's a prototype part, so it's kind of hard to tell. Um, I would like it if the uh, graduation caps were maybe either a little bit bigger so they're easier to see. Mm-hmm. Because anybody, even though I started out as like the yellow player, um, anybody can recruit yellow students and pupils to their schools, which is cool. But then you have to make sure what's important is is who's graduating them. Mm -hmm. And you can only tell that by the little marker that they're sitting on top of. So that's something to kind of like, you know, keep an eye on and watch. And yeah, hopefully they're a little bigger. I'm sure they will be. Like I said, prototype. So it's, you know, you don't reserve judgment. Um, But that is something that is important to keep an eye on. And I Mm -hmm. I do appreciate because, you know, anybody can graduate any any character from anywhere. So it's it's unique. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What do you think, Mike? Uh, I enjoyed this. The thematical tie-in again to the uh, to the mechanics, mm-hmm. just well for one that makes it easier to learn. It, right. It's mm-hmm. not just okay. I'm doing this because that's going to allow me to go there, and yeah. that's worth points. It was no, 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 no. I've got to use um, a graduated military assistant to. Uh, open up the borders to other areas to mm-hmm. then build schools there. And my new schools allow me to recruit new students in mm-hmm. different islands of Indonesia or what used to be the Dutch Indies. Yeah. Um, politicians give me access to new uh, pupils more over students, here, yeah. more students. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, so I just found those tie-ins to be really strong. Mm-hmm. I, I thought it really made a lot of sense once I understood what I was doing. Mm -hmm. Um, I liked, I went with the patron strategy. So I was putting a lot of guys up here, which gave me a lot of in-game victory points, but also I was extending turns with those patrons. They were giving me books. They were giving me money. And yeah, money gets tight quick. So when you run out of money at the end of the round, you're passing most of the time. But if you're graduating patrons, whoop, here's three bucks. Whoop, here's two more books. Here's two more books. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so that last round, I was just firing off graduates over and over. And that felt really good in that last round. Yeah, because yeah. like, yeah, you were way behind like for a long 16, time. And you caught all the yeah, I, I was pink and Bob was yellow. And as you can see, I kind of caught up. And I was way towards the back going into that final round. Uh, the last thing I really enjoyed about this is how powerful these heroes feel. Yeah, Bob really had good. one yeah. where if somebody was um, using his pupils, the yellow pupils, he was getting points off yeah. that. And every time he did, I'd be like, wait, you're getting, oh, it's that yeah. hero yeah. card. <laughs> right? yeah, and then time. I was, uh, books normally cost you yeah. two gold. 
once around, I was able to buy books for one gold. So every time I was doing that, people were like, wait, how are you? Oh, it's that hero yeah, card. Half you price have. books. And when you've got those, <laughs> when you, touche. Yeah. When you've got those like heroes where people were like, wait, how are you? Oh, yeah. they all felt really strong. And what's unique is your heroes can come from any island, right? So normally yeah. when you, when you uh, recruit a student to your area, the pupil that you put on there has to match the island that they're from. But since the heroes can kind of come from anywhere, it's a nice way to use up some of the randos that you have left over. Mm -hmm. you know, those yeah, so pieces. I was impressed with with this game and, and the tie-in with the theme and the mechanics and how good that tableau felt uh, once you got it built up. Yeah. yeah, this was really well implemented, right? Like the theme is strong. Really strong. And like Spencer said, educational, eye yeah. opening, right? Like, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, you, you, you learn what you learn, right? Regionally, yeah. things come up to you more than, right. than other things. Everybody's right? in a bubble of sorts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. to learn like about this particular uh, time in history. And then for me, like during the downtime, I'm reading the bios on the cards, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. and, and checking out stuff like that. Uh, but no, I, I enjoy the the uniqueness of how this board works, mm -hmm. you know, with, with the recruiting and the teaching and then, you know, what you do with them, the flow chart of the graduation, I thought was awesome. Like yeah. it was just like, Oh, what do I get? What do I get? What do I get? You know? And then, and you just go down the list and, uh, just interesting actions that you can take. Um, you know, it doesn't punish you for passing too early. Mm -hmm. Uh, I, I don't know. I just really enjoyed it. I thought it did a, it does a lot of things, right? It, for a two hour game, it didn't feel that long, you know, like I felt like, mm -hmm. you know, it was moving along at a good clip, especially once everybody kind of understood, right. you know, every once in a while, oh, well, if I do this, this is going to happen. That's fine. Yeah, right. A little bit of AP trying to figure out how, yeah, to, but, how to line things up, like to get two or three actions to f kind of like cascade. Right. Right. Sure. But, but like Mike said, the heroes are super powerful yeah. and really interesting, you know, uh, you know, and like any engine builder or tableau builder, when you recruit them, you're going to try to build around that. Right. And right. kind of work that to that strength. Right, right, yeah. Uh, but yeah, it, I feel like all the different paths that you could try to take feel viable, you know, whether mm -hmm. you're trying to go heavy politicians or fighters or patrons. Yeah. Cause I went politicians this time. And, mm -hmm. and I feel like the, uh, the card, while my card was hard to get, I mean, that's a lot of points. That was seven points. Yeah. You know, and also the card you pick, cause you're going to draw two, pick one tells you what your starting resources are, which is, know? which is cool, which too. is, mm -hmm. which was also super cool. So you have a little bit of autonomy Asymmetry, over that, right? Yeah. You can pick, you're going to have a little bit of a different, you know, Starting, starting, you know, set up and everything. Yeah, like uh, my starting one, I realized I'm going to need to get military because I'm going to need to spread to a bunch of islands, and I had access to no military. And so I looked down at the heroes. I was like, oh, there's a, a military hero, and mm -hmm. they haven't taken her yet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that was how I was able to, you know, get off the island. Yeah, yeah. There, there's just I don't know. I never felt like the markets got while the markets were tight. I never felt like they were locked up. You know, right. We're like, oh, I got stuck with the same crappy cards. And like a lot of yeah. like, cards that rely on a marketplace. Right. Do. And then because and then because there's multiple markets. Yeah. You know, there's ways to get access to those markets. Which right. Again. Oh, well, now I'm yeah. over here. I can grab these. You know, I can start doing this. Just lots of interesting choices. I really appreciated that. Um, and yeah, this game kind of it came out of nowhere for me. And yeah. uh, and so, you know, I was I was I was happy. I was I was happy to play it. And uh and check it out with, especially with all the unique things that it does. Mm -hmm. To your point, I don't always read flavor text, but um, my person that was able to buy Oops. books for half price, uh, she was Indonesia's first female journalist. Uh, the first Indonesian newspaper for women founded in 1912, and she became the editor. Well, no wonder she was able to get books at half price. Right? So no yeah, doubt. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. No uh, doubt. So I just really appreciate that. Yeah, just lots of really neat information in here, too. Mm -hmm. um, if you like history at all, uh, you, there's a lot to glean from this, right? You, you're mm -hmm. going to learn a lot and, uh, and uh, play an interesting game. In the, I like when they throw the factual stuff on there. Yeah, I like, I like that stuff, too. Mm -hmm. And we, I mean, we've even done recently like a live stream on historical games, right? Yeah. Like, this oh, could have, yeah, man. This, this would have fit in had we yeah. hadn't played it because yeah. very this is very steeped like in history. Two days late. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 But, uh, but yeah, I, I very positive experience. Yeah. I really enjoyed this. So I look forward to seeing this, uh, in Final its version. finished version. Yeah. 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 And, uh, anything else guys before we, before we sign off? No, nope, I don't think so. All right. So this has been Cartini from darkness to light by ion game design. And for the board game rundown, I've been Tim. I'm still Bob. Spencer. Mike. Thanks for watching.